everyone so i hope that you guys are well because today i'm going to show you guys how to understand this error system and how to use it properly i've seen many people asking about the arrays lately so i thought of making this video so as you all know the error system changed in last few months so the la latest error system is different from the previous one in the previous one there was like two arrays and there was all four types troops arrays included but in this array system you can use uh, this array pages and put the arrays according to your likings and use them in marches and for defending castles so to understand this array system better first of all you need to know that these arrays have a few qualities like the first one is green quality array second one is uh, second one is uh, blue quality array, third one is purple quality array and the highest quality of the arrays are orange quality array. So in here, in array exercise, we can check out uh, about the price pool of these arrays. For example, in here, in reverse review, in here in reverse review, uh, you can see the attributes they have for each position for example in here in infantry array infantry array in position 1 position 2 position 3 and all the way to position 8 there are different things they offer if we check the position 1 we'll see that the purple quality attribute for this position 1 array of infantry is 6 person infantry attack max um, orange quality attribute is uh, infantry health 6 percent crit damage 10 and according to 6 so there is also four color arrays and four attribute colors having one orange array does not mean that you have orange attributes in them it means that the attributes can be of purple orange blue and even green so you have to choose what you're using accordingly and about the color the color of the arrays uh, have a set attribute for example let's show this cavalry array array group cavalry array set group here I'm getting this all these attributes from using uh, seven orange arrays I'm gonna go get this orange array too soon I hope so this is the set attribute and then again let me show this one in here I'm using two color sets in this archer array so here for purple I'm getting archer attack plus six percent archer speed plus six percent and then then again blue archer attack four percent and in the first page I'm getting infantry attack nine percent infantry attack four infantry attack four infantry HP four in this array too I have two set arrays two set attributes this set attributes depends on the color and the amount or the number you're using to check how many arrays you need to get for set attributes you need to click on effective position uh, let me show it from the first beginning in the array uh, when you go to array group here yes very group here you'll see this and if you click on here the effective position 
you'll see how many arrays you need of that color to get the effective uh, attribute okay so it's basically like I'm not getting it um, Mm, okay, so uh, I don't think that I can get this from effective position, but yeah, I can if I click on the array and scroll. Yes, I have clicked on the orange array. Here, as you guys can see, for set set attributes two. If I use two orange arrays, I'll get infantry attack nine percent. If I use four infantry array uh, of orange color, I'll get. 9% HP and if I use 6 infantry array I'll get 8% uh, infantry damage and then again last attribute is if I use 8 orange arrays I'll get pike throwing skill where it states infantry learns pike throwing skill and have a chance of 6% 16% to attack enemy cavalry shooters directly when attacking so basically infantry uh, are infantry pikemen are weaker against the cavalry shooter so if they learn this pike throwing skill they'll behave like ranged troops and attack the cavalry shooters directly so this is a really important skill let's go check out uh, the archer array system so I have virtual attack of uh, purple for I'm using four purple and two blues because I am not using any orange archers recently. So let's check. Yeah. So here uh, I can get like uh, archer states that archer attack six percent. They're kind of like same. Okay, so for two, I get six percent, and archer sp six percent, and for six I get archer damage five percent, and last is piercing arrows. Archer will use piercing arrows and have a chance of dealing six percent critical damage. So critical damage is really important for archers, and this is a really important skill. So then go check out the C's engineer. This is kind of like same. So damage six percent attack, six percent HP, six five percent damage, and twelve percent C's engine offensive damage. This is for the purple one. These are same not same for all the colors. For example, let's check this blue. For blue this is different uh, four percent attack four percent HP two percent damage and offensive damage eight percent so I don't really have an orange array so I cannot show it to you guys right now but uh, it's pretty much like this orange at least nine percent attack uh, these three set attributes are same for all the colors uh, all the troop type the different one is this one so i don't have the eighth orange cavalry array i'm gonna buy this soon so when i will get this in here i'll get 12 percent dodge for cavalry for cavalry dodge skill is a very good skill and very important attribute so this will help me a lot so this is the first basic for the arrays that you combine colors according to your need and it's best to have orange or purple this is kind of like the equipment system where we use all same color equipment to get the uh, attributes of the set Arrays are also using this set system and they have this is a really good thing and uh, 
apart from this set thing they also have put arrays uh, arrays uh, with some spatial attributes so you can check those attributes after clicking each ar arrays for example let's see this this orange color uh, array is giving me three attributes two purple attributes and one blue attribute and another orange attribute in total four attributes this is the orange one so as you seen can see i get basic defense of orange attribute from here non real uh, non really offensive damage non really offensive damage so these are not same for each, each position to check what you get in one position you have to get here in position reverse review uh, reverse review yes position one of infantry gives this position one of cavalry gives this this can be like three orange two orange one purple they can be of any combination but the price differs according to what they are so for all type of array the first position usually gives uh, all the position usually gives same sort of attributes so i'll just go with checking cavalry as i am making it so for cavalry position one's purple attributes is uh, six percent six percent ten percent ten percent six percent cav attack six percent cap defense six ten percent crit damage ten percent crit damage taken reduction and orange attribute is six percent health that's it almost for position one and for position two this same position one position two the difference uh, here they dif no difference position one position two uh, position three also same no position three has this uh, blue blue has some difference four percent concealing four percent assisted percentage of damage uh, turning cavalry into wounded purple mm, position two reinforcement hp defense uh you guys can discover this with by checking the, them out position one and position two is same position three kind of same position four kind of same just there is a turning covering to own that position five is different position five can give you Offensive damage, five percent offensive damage taken reduction. Defensive damage, five percent defensive damage taken reduction, five percent. Cavalry attack, cavalry defense, cavalry health, cavalry damage, uh, cavalry damage taken, cavalry crit rate, cavalry anti crit rate. So these are defensive damage, non really offensive damage, non really defensive damage. Uh, so they give a lot of attributes these are random attributes and for position six here is also same as you guys can see there's some small differences between them uh, but they're kind of like same so we can say that from position one to four are kind of same and position five to position eight are kind of same this is for all array groups uh, or all array tribe and lastly according to my use of arrays i can get its attributes let's check my cavalry array so i get 30.63 cavalry attack 18.98 defense health 35.707 basic attack 2.17 dodge 8% uh, sorry infant cavalry damage 8% I'll get dodge skill when I get this orange array too 
marching speed these are not not really defensive damage reinforcement hp marching uh, speed damage boost against infantry uh, uh, enemies archer reduce damage from enemies archer so i'm basically trying to change this green random attributed uh, green random attributed uh, arrays for example this array has two purple and two green i'm trying to get the offensive damage one soon i hope uh, these also don't have offensive damage these have basic attack these have basic defense i'm trying to get uh, offensive damage for them or something else and try to get this health with health these have health this have health this have health but this does not have health so about the random attributes purple arrays can sometimes have good random attributes but as they are purple for color uh, use they have to be you have to be cautious about them and be smart like using weapons some people you know uses a uh, golden sort of that in lord for attack increasing cavalry so we mix in here we mix in the heroes so we can mix in the arrays too now and about getting how the arrays you guys we all get three free exercises for array send i forgot the name what was that uh aris exercise sand table uh, every day we get three air exercise sand table and when we use 100 time we'll get uh here it says after cum cumulatively uh drawing 100 times will open an orange array orange quality array of random soldier unit so you can get a cavalry array orange or infantry array or archer or siege engine so what i do for getting the arrays is that when i get archer or infantry or siege engine arrays i sell them because i'm currently focusing cavalry so that's why i sell them i get uh, as you guys can see i'm selling them all if i can sell them i'll get the platinum coins i need and i'll bid for better arrays or according to my need so this is all you should know or discover for the air system, best of luck.